Welcome back again. Uh, this is Bear, Bear's Rod Shop for March the 12th. Making actually two videos uh, this morning. Made one uh, will be uh, posted here sometime later this evening along with this one. This is the wrong food I talk about in a video I shot this morning and it's table uh, that's got to have heavy plates put in across this table and uh, we had already shown them. Here's the the plates, the uh, two half inch, uh, six inch wide plates that'll go completely across the table. Uh, this may be a little unorthodox way I tram one in because uh, I move this head until I get the Z X motor where I can take the quill up and down. But uh, right now I'm set at my favorite height of nine inches, five for the vise and four for uh, medium to long tools, uh, fly cutters, etc. And uh, I've already checked the flatness uh, of this bed, put dial indicators and everything, and this is a 15 inch uh, German uh, level that uh, Mr. Lee loaned us, and good enough to let me keep it over the weekend, because I'm going to once I pick this up, I'll recheck the tramming. But this thing is super good shape for this bed. Uh, there is no wear on this, uh, even though it's a 2003 uh, wrong food. Uh, that being said, you can see I've got 70 and 50 thou uh, right here. And this is the LS Derek. And what I did is I come in here and I make sure that I get the same reading on both sides. Exact same reading both sides. I scribed my center line. It's a little bit touchy to see. Let's see if we can uh, pick that center line up. And I use a uh, tungsten scribe. And uh, these uh, oil deals, they're close, but uh, anyhow, this is dead center. And let's get this level here over out of the way. Don't want to bump it. What I do is then I go ahead and I square with the machine is square and I scribe all the way across the bed lightly. This will stay in there. I had the encode the same way. Uh, it does not interrupt anything. It's a real fine cut. Uh, the marker here is off. I will end up making another marker that uh, has a better uh, pointer leave it on there even though that this is going to end up getting powered. Let's get this off. What I do, i get a flashlight here. I use the one, two, uh, three blocks. Uh, these are brown and sharp. And that scribe line is completely across. And there's a precision ground quarter inch setting in a collet. And I uh, checked it for plumbness with a uh, little small stair and also this, uh, these one, two, three blocks. And this is the easy way to do this. Now I'm set dead center with the pointer right over it. No, I don't want to run that pin all the way down. Uh, I end up using a little small piece of feeler gauges in between there. And, uh, but right now I am set up, trammed all the way across this table. Let's uh, see if we cannot move these out bring it over to the opposite side yeah, as soon as I get it in gear here you know this is not uh, what most people show and do with uh, these column mills but uh, you know they lose kilter quite quick boy should have hooked up my power drill but uh, got the uh, motors ordered uh, for the Z and the Y. All right, let's get this handle off. Let's put our one, two, three blocks back up here. And you can see I am dead center. It's a little a bit of an angle to see, but uh, we are tracking, and uh, I didn't go to trouble with the feeler gauges because I got one hand to work this camera. But uh, this is a good way to do it uh, fairly quickly. 
and now I know that I don't have any head tilt this way either uh, that means there's not a lot of serious wear on this machine and uh, hope this helps uh, there is ways you know that uh, yeah, I could put a bunch of dial indicators but uh, watching Blondie Hacks and uh, you know Joe Coppa or those but uh, it's sure nice to have this big nice 15 inch level and this thing is touchy but uh, all this is going to be picked up off the table here got the overhead little engine hoist uh, we can pick it up enough to slide in and also underneath the table I don't know it's not probably easy to see but I've got some work to beef up under here and I'm going to end up running probably an all thread all the way down to the base of the other table right down to the floor and uh, it's setting up on isolator blocks so I don't get any vibration got my grounding uh, strap drove in the ground about five feet so this this and the lathe gets grounded but uh, hope this helps uh, some of you that are just getting a column mill and uh, you don't have a bunch of instruments yet to set them up and if it does please leave a comment down below give us a thumbs up ring the bell and uh, come back we will have this uh, maybe by two months finished out uh, as a not a full-blown CNC but it will be a three axis and uh, can't wait to start turning some parts come back and visit please share and if you like this channel share with others on Facebook one last look at our we won't call it West Virginia because I have a bunch of West Virginia friends I love them to death but use them one two blocks as one two three blocks I'm sorry it works out real Jim Danny I wouldn't depend on the, probably the Chinese ones to be if you want to get that precise but these are brown and sharps and they're in pristine uh, calibrated shape so again please come back and share if you like our videos uh, once one more time share with the family and the kids thanks